The president gave the assurance when he received a group of joint venture partners accompanied by the ambassador of France to Nigeria and deputy ambassador of Japan to Nigeria in his office at the presidential villa, Abuja. The $5 billion project is projected to create 7,000 jobs and set to commence in the fourth quarter of 2026. Speaking to correspondents after the meeting with the president, leader of the delegation and group managing director of UTM FLNG, Julius Roon, shed some light on the capacity and impact of the facility, including addressing domestic requirements by producing 300,000 tons per annum of LPG. Mr. President has given us all the assurances and full support for this project. For us, we are excited because Mr. President spoke very highly for the need to develop our gas resources and he believes in the floating LNG technology and he assured us that there will be no stone left to us to deliver this project as planned and scheduled. Here to, uh, to attend this audience with the president, just to reconfirm also on the, the JV of Technip Energies and the uh, JGC uh, that we are committed to, to deliver this project. We are currently executing the feed, defining the project. And, uh, and you know, the, this uh, JV is very strong. We have been working on the half of the capacity of LNG in the world, which is being built or under construction is being built by either Technip Energies or JGC. And all floating energy uh, uh, in open seas have been built also by, uh, by either Technip Energies or uh, JGC. This opportunity, uh, as our colleague explained to you, the floating energy uh, will be contributed to uh, the carbonization uh, strategy of Nigeria. And uh, floating energy is not easy one. Uh, that's why only Technip and JGC has completed four floaters, but no others completed yet. Then we are very much proud of be, to be selected and uh, we are ready to work together with UTM. 